Look at this, I've designed a new one. What is it? Well, stick with me, we'll jump into this together and I'll explain, because you're gonna wanna see this. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3Dtech.com. In this episode, I wanna share this new air assist that I designed up for diode lasers. So basically, this fits most common diode lasers. This is 40 by 40 millimeters, slips across the bottom. So what I did is I modeled in some threaded holes for a couple short M3s, as well as place an M3 here on the hose control. Now the idea between these two M3s is this fits pretty snug. Uh, however, if it doesn't on your laser, you can just cinch these up and it, it, it sits pretty tight. Uh, the other piece, the way I designed this is with this six millimeter hose coming through uh, along with an MK8 point, uh, 0.8 millimeter 3D printer nozzle at the end. Now I've done another uh, air assist out there and one of the things that I've noticed is, again, since it doesn't seal up, I lose a lot of pressure when I'm, uh, you know, when it's, uh, you know, blowing downward to clear out the curve. And what I want to do is come up with something a little bit better and a little bit easier to adjust the focus on. Now, I did uh, kind of vex back and forth, should I put a Z gantry on it to go up and down? But instead, I decided to design this up. And the reason I did that is I want to get the air really close to the curve. And what I designed this to do is actually for G8 lens now. Now that's the important thing here is this is really designed for a G8, not a G2 lens, which has a very deep focus. And the idea is, is as the beam comes down, as you can see here, the hose intersects. Now I can move this hose up and down and again use this M3 to cinch it. And with the nozzle here, I get a really tight air stream to clean that kerf out as well as keep smoke from coming back up or getting in the way of the laser beam. So I'm hoping that this will actually work better at clearing out the curve because one of the things with the visible light diode laser, it has to make a lot of passes. So it really is important that you clean out the curve so it's hitting new material because what happens is if you leave ash in there, it uh, actually acts more as an insulator than anything else and really impedes your cutting ability. So I'm hoping this does a little bit better job than my last version. Uh, I will probably do up an, uh, a G2 version of this that's shorter here. Um, I, again, because the G2 has only got like about three millimeters of focus. And it's really great, the G2 is, for cutting out paper, cards, and that kind of stuff, where this works out better for cardboards and things like that, where you want a deeper, narrower curve. So anyways, I'll have this out on the design store. If you're interested, it'll be free out there. Go ahead, grab it. I'll have the links down below. Let me know what you think of it. And with that, Swag Shop's up there. Big thumbs up if you like this, and also subscribe is over there. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe.